So this is Raspberry Pi with uh, my PIC programmer on it. I've redesigned the PIC programmer to be on um, my custom printed circuit boards. Uh, and I've got a project here that I'm working on, uh, which I've designed in KiCad and uh, printed out the circuit board for as well. And it's got displays on it and switches. Um, uh, it's got a PIC program, PIC microcontroller on it. Uh, but rather than keep taking the PIC microcontroller out of this um, project and putting it into the programmer, and then taking out the programmer, put it into the board, and then doing the same again every time I want to do a new revision. I'm going to use um, the in-circuit serial programming of the PIC. Uh, so I've got a headers um, on here, which is next to the PIC device. Uh, and I'm just going to program it through that uh, repeatedly without having to actually remove the PIC device from the, the PCB. So in order to do that, I can use the uh, PIC, my PIC programmer in like as, as I would standard, uh, but rather than um, plugging in and taking it out of the socket I just need a cable which I've got here I've got I'm using an 8 pin side at one side because all you need is the 8 pin socket uh, because it needs 5 pins in total so it needs VPP, VDD, ground, serial date and clock uh, so the 8 pin socket is good enough uh, for doing this I'll just plug in this side of it um, and then on the other end, I've got um, just a header, um, which I can plug into the device. I've got, just got an LED which shows when the power's going through it. Uh, my device, the board that I've made here is like really low power, so I can actually power this through the Raspberry Pi um, power supply. But there might be a case in if your project's really big and you don't, and it takes a lot of power, you don't want to power it through your programmer. So you'd need like a diode or something just to make sure you isolate the pick device and you only power that pick device when you're programming it uh, but I'll plug the header on to the header okay so that's uh, plugged in now I'll put the displays so the displays can be seen and I'm gonna go to my um, I'm gonna go to uh, my pick uh, Python program so for programming picks on this um, project I've got um, I've uh, Release some open source um, Python code, which does does the um, programming. And on here, if I do minus L, it lists the devices which uh, are currently I've uh, supported. You can easily add more devices. You just have to put the memory map into the pick.py file. So this is the new one which I've just added, which I'm using in this pro project. So if I do um, minus E to erase, the, make sure the device is erased and I put that in. It then goes off and erases the device. Uh, and then if I go um, minus W to write to the device and uh, I need the hex file which, which has been compiled, I compiled it earlier hit return and that then programs the hex file onto the device and now if I just do a power, power on so minus P powers on and I should get an eight on the display and there it is. So that's successfully um, programmed the PIC device. I'll just do it again. So if I go um, and min minus E to erase. So now if I power on, uh, nothing comes up on the display uh, because I've erased it. Uh, but if I go back up to the line where I program it, Write the, write the hex file to the device again and then power on again and it's on the timer and there it, and there it comes on the um, the display so it programs fine through the uh, serial port and it makes the development much easier and much quicker because you can quickly try stuff out and uh, program picks just through using a cable without having to keep taking the pick out of the, uh, the PCB and, and put it in the programmer and backwards and forwards